So you're looking at the award winners for this year's spotting scope category in the Outdoor Life Optics Test. We've got kind of a tale of two full-size spotters here. Let's start with this one first. This is the Tract Toric UHD. This is a 27 to 55 by 80 millimeter scope. This is our Editor's Choice Award winner for being the top of the class. And this is our great buy award. This is Vortex's um, Diamondback HD. Its configuration is 20 to 60 power by an 85 millimeter objective lens. So our two award-winning spotting scopes are actually mounted on tripods that were submitted this year as also uh, new for the year. Vortex has a great line of carbon fiber tripods. This is the Ridgeview, full-size uh, carbon fiber, really stout. It's a good deal. It also has an Arca Swiss head on it, so it's compatible with a lot of different mounting uh, dimensions. Over here, Leupold's got a brand new line of carbon fiber tripods as well. This one is called the uh, ProGuide CF436, but it's carbon fiber, so it does not weigh much, and a great backcountry aid. Let's first ta start talking about the Tract. Um, this is, it's just an awesome, it's bright, and the controls are luxurious. So Tract, which is a direct-to-consumer brand, uses a class of glass called shot high transmission glass. It's a it's basically a better class of glass than, than a lot of scopes use. And then they use an even better extra low dispersion class of glass in their objective lens. What that means for the user is you get a very bright, very crisp image. Um, the colors are great, so there's just nothing wrong at all with this class of glass. But what we really liked about it and separated it was really the controls of this. This is something that tracked uh, kind of has as a brand expression all across its optics lines from binoculars and rifle scopes. This is actually its first spotting scope uh, and it did a nice job with it. So really nice center barrel focus. It's positive without being binding. Uh, it's got a really nice eye cup. And then the uh, power ring right here just focuses nice and smoothly. So I mean these are just sort of the things you got to expect from a spotting scope. It just works really nicely. Sometimes when you get to the highest magnification ranges with spotting scopes, the image gets really dark and grainy. But Tract uh, capped it at 55 power, which is still a ton of horsepower for a spotting scope, but it's not at that nth degree where the image is just getting really tedious to look at. So that was a nice touch. Lastly, we really liked the ability to change the eyepiece. So it ships with this 27 to 55, but you can actually buy aftermarket eyepieces, a 22 power and a 30 power eyepiece, they actually have a tactical reticle built in, so you can use it as a spotting scope at a range or a PRS match. In order to change them, you basically just loosen that collar, and this comes right out just like a camera lens, like a bayonet mount on a camera lens. It goes back in, it seats nicely, and then you lock the collar. So it's just a clean, fast, and really easy way to change the lenses. Fairly pricey, this is a $1,700 spotting scope, but we thought that the image it delivers and the tasty controls were worth the price. The other end of the price spectrum, this is our great buy award from Vortex. This is a $500 spotting scope, which is a whale of a bargain for a big 85 millimeter. And what you get is a great image. Uh, what we noticed is at the upper end of the magnification range from about 48 on up to 60, the image gets pretty grainy and pretty dark and hard to see. But at reasonable magnifications, it's got a great image. Center barrel focus again, it's a non-removable eyepiece, but everything else that you're gonna want in a big spotter, spotting scope is right here. Our great buy award winner in the spotting scope category from Vortex, it's a heck of a deal.